everyone. Today I want to talk about researching a cure for HIV. As you might know, two men have actually already have been cured. The first man was cured in 2008. He was from Berlin, but born in Seattle, Washington. His name is Timothy Ray Brown. It's been very useful for science and for giving hope to, um, to HIV positive people. Um, Yes, I w would like to meet the London patient very much. Uh, um, I would would say take your time in um, if you if you want to become public, do it. It's not really a burden that I'm going through um, with media and stuff like that. It's actually fun, um, so uh, you can share in the fun. In 2006, he was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. AML. And the other was from L London in 2019. He chose to be only known as the London patient, both with lethal blood cancers and required transplants of blood cells from donors with that special gene that's only found in the 1% of the population that resists HIV. The procedure is very risky and can have harsh side effects for years to come. It is unlikely to be a realistic approach or option in the near future, but rearming the body with immune cells similarly modified to resist HIV might as well succeed as a practical treatment, experts say. I believe this is a viable stepping stone for a cure. I was reading an article about researchers being able to remove HIV from mice with two treatments. The first treatment was a release of long, acting, and slow a laser form of antiretroviral ther therapy. The second treatment involves the removal of DNA using a gene editing tool called CRISPR, CAS9. The researchers described how they tested a two-step approach in a mouse model of human HIV. They treated the mice with a laser ART followed by CRISPR. Then they examined the viral load of the HIV. Various tests detected that there was no trace of the HIV in or around one-third of the animals. They found that if they used one treatment or the other on its own, that the viral load just rebounded 100%. Laser antiretroviral therapy is quite different from your standard ARVs that we take today. It has a different chemistry, it requires fewer doses and lasts much longer. It can quickly make into the tissues harboring dormant HIV. Once inside an HIV-infected cell, it can slowly release their payload over several weeks. So there is a study, study to see if laser ART could suppress the HIV infection long enough for the CRISPR-CAS9 to completely rid of viral DNA. That is amazing to me. Another strategy is shock and kill. Finding a cure for HIV is, is challenging because the virus can remain inactive inside cells, which are called CD4 cells or white blood cells, and the immune system cannot detect this. The shock and kill is a two-step process. First, the drugs called latency reversing agents are to reactivate the dormant HIV hiding in immune cells. The shock, the, react, the reactivated cells can be attacked by your own immune system or by anti-HIV drugs. Studies have shown that it only activated a small amount, the HIV infected cells. And to activate more might damage your whole immune system and its natural response. For example, researchers have shown that viral reservoirs in, deep inside the tissues of the brain could cause fatal inflammation. Another strategy is called block and lock. There is an alternative to waking up these infected cells. Instead of stimulating those infected cells to produce new virus. The plan is to find agents that can stop the HIV replication in latently infected cells. Animal research reveals that an agent called DCA stops the HIV protein called TAT that sets the production of the virus. If TAT can be suppressed, latently infected cells will not produce new viruses and the HIV reservoir cannot be replenished. Scientists have called this block and lock 
because it blocks the production of new viruses and locks up the HIV latently infected cells. Human studies are needed to test if it's a viable route for a long-term treatment without using ARTs. There is a promising outlook to defeat this disease once and for all. It's been going on for what, 40 years now? Since the virus hit the US? When will this happen? I mentioned about my vlog called HIV in Clinical Trials, a Canadian organization called CAMFAR, which stands for Canadian Foundation for AIDS Research. They have helped to develop the prevention and eliminate the risk of HIV transmission between mother and child and help to develop a rapid screening test to reduce the barriers of getting tested. Canada currently invests about $50 million in research annually. They have announced for this year, in 2020, that they're going to invest in an additional $3.5 million. This is a world problem that we need to solve. A cure for HIV is possible, and I'm hopeful for the future. Take care, everyone.